Hey guys, welcome back to Cocktail Cards. And today, we're gonna to show you how to make that James Bond classic drink, the Vesper Martini. So you probably remember that iconic scene. James Bond is playing poker, he calls the waiter over, he asks for a drink that's three parts gin, one part vodka, half part Kino Lele, shaken, not stirred, served with a thin slice of lemon peel. And that's become a pretty notorious drink. I mean, it's really famous. I've made it a ton of times in my bars and restaurants, and I've had the drink quite a few times as well, and it's very delicious. But there's a few things we gotta talk about before we really dive in on how to make this drink. So the very first thing we gotta talk about is how much of each ingredient goes into this drink, because he calls for parts in the movie, and that could be a little confusing. And actually, through a later interview with the author of the books, he kind of hinted that each part is closer to an ounce. Now, that's all great, but if we actually made this cocktail to those proportions, you would actually have almost a five ounce martini, and that is far too much alcohol to serve in a bar or restaurant. And you know, you're probably not even gonna want that having a drink at home. So we're gonna dial back those ingredients. We have everything measured out to where it equals those parts, but it's gonna be closer to the three ounce martini that you would typically get you know, if you were out at a bar or restaurant. So the second thing we're gonna talk about is, you know, Bond orders his martini shaken, not stirred. Now, of course, over time, we've learned that martinis really should be stirred. Uh, what it does is it allows you to control how much dilution is going into your drink. It doesn't melt your ice as fast. And you also don't get oxygen into your drink, which causes the bubbles and really creates a different mouthfeel and taste to your drink, just slightly. So. Uh, we are going to go with stirred for this recipe because that's really how you should at least try your martinis at first. Now, if you wanna try shaking it, go ahead. I recommend trying it stirred first and then trying to shake it and see which one you like. Uh, you know, shaking it's really, really gonna like chill the drink down a lot more. So, you know, give it a try. I don't care, I'm not gonna judge you how you make your martinis. As long as you know what you want, that's kind of the biggest challenge. So try both ways, see what you like, and go from there. All right, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the ingredients for this drink. Now, if you're not familiar with the scene in the movie, uh, there is vodka in this martini. I suggest going with a good vodka. This is a martini. We're not hiding the flavors of the alcohol here. So pick something you enjoy. I very much like Tito's, so I'm gonna put Tito's in this one. Next, you're gonna need gin. Now, the martini is mostly gin, so make sure you get one you enjoy. I have Bombay Sapphire. It's a London dry, good citrus tones. I really like it in martinis, so I'm gonna go with that for this drink. And lastly, we're gonna have Lillet. Now, we already talked about that. If you don't have Lillet and you do have Coqui Americana, go ahead and try it with that ingredient as well. Uh, lastly, we're also going to need a lemon because we need to do a lemon zest on top for the garnish. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you how to make the Vesper Martini. All right, again, for this example, we're gonna be stirring this drink versus shaking it. So I'm gonna be building it out in my mixing glass and we're gonna stir it. Again, if you want to shake it, all the same ingredients, just put it into a shaker tin, give it a shake and double strain it out. So we'll be building this out in our mixing glass. And the very first thing we're gonna add is two and one quarter ounces of our gin. Next, we're gonna go with three quarters of an ounce of our vodka. Lastly, we're gonna go with half of an ounce of our Lillet. Now go ahead and grab some ice and we're gonna give this a stir for about 30 seconds. After about 30 seconds, go ahead and fill the outside of your glass, and if it's filling nice and cold, your cocktail should be ready. Next, go ahead and grab a martini or a coupe glass, and we're just gonna go ahead and strain this into our glass.
Next, go ahead and grab your lemon and we're gonna do a nice lemon peel. I like to kind of peel it over my glass to get some extra oils in there. And then just take your lemon peel and squeeze it over your glass to let out those essential oils. Go and rub it around the glass once or twice. All right, so there's a couple things you can do with your peel when you're done here. So you can actually just go ahead and throw it in your drink. Some people think that uh, it adds a little bitterness to the drink. I don't get that, so go ahead and toss it in. You can rest it on top of your glass. What I like to do is take my lemon here and I have these little mini clothes pins. So I can actually take this clothes pin and just clip it to my drink. That way I'm still getting that lemon effervescence each and every sip that I take of the Vesper. So there you have it, the Vesper Martini. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Really smooth martini. Uh, good herbal flavors coming from the gin. The Lillet adds a little bit of a sweetness, which actually makes this a pretty smooth martini as well. And then the little lemon zest on top just adds a little citrus to kind of balance out the sweetness from the Lillet. But it's not overly sweet. It's, it's a very well-balanced martini. Very boozy. This is, this is all alcohol here. So obviously proceed with caution. Definitely use the lower amounts, not the five ounce martini. But yeah, this is really good, really delicious, really smooth. Definitely a drink I've had many, many times over. The Bond Classic, the Vesper. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Vesper recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing and uh, hit that bell notification so you're alerted of new recipes that we put out. We're gonna be coming out with well over a hundred different cocktail recipes on this channel, so you're not gonna wanna miss those. But uh, I'm gonna enjoy my Vesper and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.